If I give you a whole lot of money and I ask you to build a house for me, there's many ways that you could spend that money. You could build a house that looks amazing, that has nice big glass windows everywhere, but that has terrible insulation. Or you could build a house that's super solid and that can withstand any earthquake, but then you may not have enough money left over to build a proper kitchen. Or you may build a house that is super boring and has nothing interesting about it, but it has everything in the right proportions. This is what it's like building a rifle scope. And I'm only using this analogy because I've probably <laughs> spent a little bit too much on, on, my, on my gun safe and my workshop and my house and not enough on other things. But it's easy to say that you're going to build a rifle scope that has no weaknesses. But when you're on a budget, it's not that easy to do. Many rifle scope manufacturers will tend to sacrifice on internal components and the quality of those components to try and make things look a little bit more attractive from the outside, like that glass house with no insulation. But with the Helix, we've kind of done things the other way around. We've started with a very, very solid foundation, covering all the bases in terms of internal components and setting very high standards for areas like the, the turret tracking tolerance and point of impact shift when changing the magnification and the parallax. These things that are actually very, very important that not many people think about. And then we've added things around that. In particular, we've wanted to focus on uh, some external features that you don't get in uh, many scopes of this price range, like the zero stop, like the, you know, the reticle design and certain internal parts that are made of stronger materials and built to tighter specs in order to achieve the same mechanical performance that you would get at a higher price range. The model we have on show today is the 6 to 24 by 50 model in second focal plane. Let's see what the scope has to offer, starting with the form factor. Now you'll see it's a pretty standard 30 millimeter tube rifle scope, uh, 50 millimeter objective lens. And you'll see it's slightly longer than our high-end model, the Nexus, which is also a 30 millimeter tube, similar magnification range, same object objective lens size. The reason we've made the Helix a little bit longer is simply because with a compact scope like the Nexus, sure, it's a little bit lighter and, and a bit more compact, but you're bending the light at sharper angles from the objective lens to get it into the, uh, the rest of the optical system. And it's a bit more difficult to get a compact scope to have extremely clear glass and not have those artifacts like chromatic aberration. By using a slightly longer optical system, we are able to get a very, very good uh, image through the scope, very good optical qualities without breaking the back. So running through these features from back to front, we've got right at the back here, a uh, fast focus eyepiece. So you can basically use this to focus your reticle to your eye and this is textured, so it's easy to grip and easy to turn. Moving forward, we've got our magnification ring. Again, this is uh, textured, so you can grip it, and even if you're wearing gloves, you have, you'll have no problem turning it. We have added a removable throw lever, and this is great simply for, you know, if you want to shoot a, a PRS match or something, and you, you just want to be able to grip and turn things easily, but we've made it removable so that if you have your bolt coming past you and you don't want your bolt to get in the way, you can take it off. Or if you simply just don't like it, you can take it off. And there's a replacement hex screw that comes in the box that you can replace it with so that it's flush. So there's no gaping hole. <laughs> um, we've done something on the, on the second focal plane model that makes it pretty intuitive. We've marked 24 times, 12 times, and six times in red. And the reason we've done that is because the reticle is calibrated at 24 times because 24 is divisible by, by 6 and you can easily do maths at those numbers. You can actually use the reticle in second focal plane at 12 and 6 by doing a bit of mental math. With the first focal plane, this is not required because the reticle subtends at all magnifications, but the second focal plane, we wanted to make it intuitive and that's what the red markings are for. Moving forward, we have a 30 millimeter main tube. I've already mentioned this. It's a, a one piece tube. It's two millimeters thick, which is pretty thick for a, for a, a, a scope like this. Um, we've wanted to make it thicker, thicker on purpose just to help keep things very rigid and, and robust. I can give this thing a bash. I don't want to damage the table, but it's going to withstand a lot of uh, impact force and you can use this on up to a 50 BMG. Uh, in fact, it's tested on a machine that simulates 
50 bmg recoil i think 500 times so if it if it uh, makes it through that you can put it on pretty much anything the main difference between the helix and titan many people ask the, the many of the internal components are built to the exact same specs same build quality both scopes go through the same quality control test the main difference is that the helix has a smaller objective lens smaller body tube and less lenses the smaller body tube means that you're not going to get the same amount of internal travel as you will with the titan the helix has 13 lenses while the titan has 17. so the helix light transmission is actually very comparable to the titan at the end of the day the helix is not illuminated we've done this just to to keep the cost down but in the same area where you would have found the illumination is the parallax uh, the parallax is textured as well and it goes down to below 10 yards in the moa version it is marked in yards and the emrad version is marked in, in meters that's because most moa shooters will use the imperial system and most metric shooters will use the uh, emrad system if you're an air gunner 10 meters or 10 yards is is perfect many scopes with the same magnification range have their minimum parallax at, at 50 yards or 25 so this is very well suited to air gunners but again let me just reiterate that this is not an air gun specific scope you can put it on pretty much anything you want even a tank the turrets are really really cool on the helix we've got 15 moa or 6 mils per revolution it's less than the titan the titan has 10 mils or 25 moa per revolution however because there's a greater gap between the clicks the clicks feel really really good on the scope and we've got the same features that we have on the high-end models the titan and and the nexus in other words we've got the tool free resettable turrets you simply take this off by hand lift this, the the cap off exposing the zero stop you can set your zero stop and then you can slot back your turret back on zero without the need for any tools which is fantastic same thing goes with the windage except the windage does not have the zero stop mechanism obviously the helix has 65 moa of internal elevation travel uh, which is less than our, our higher end nexus but again this is our sort of entry level model one thing i want to mention is that we've put a ton of effort into making sure that the scope performs at a similar level to the high end scopes not necessarily optically but mechanically which is actually where it matters we have a uh, built the click ring inside out of stainless steel this means that no matter how much you dial and we do expect people to dial with a scope it's going to uh, feel great it's not going to wear down like many other scopes in this price range that make internal components out of brass and we've actually put a ton of effort into getting all the tolerances inside in the erector tube and the the turret assembly which pe presses down in the erector tube to make sure that this this the scope actually tracks at basically the same level as our high-end nexus so if you're looking for a, a scope in our in our range and you want something that can track perfectly you don't even necessarily have to buy the 1500 dollar nexus to get that super super tight tracking precision we have managed to get this down to like one percent tracking error which means that if you dial 10 mils up it'll be 99 clicks to 101 clicks it'll be within one percent of that perfect tracking which is absolutely insane for a $400 scope moving on we've made sure that our units have been kept consistent across the board so the MOA helix will come with MOA turrets and an MOA reticle same with the Miller Radian version consistent units we offer two reticles with the second focal plane helix one MOA reticle and one MRAD reticle both are nice clean simple reticles for those of you who want to use the scope for Kind of all-purpose hunting and target shooting and long-range shooting they're very very intuitive reticles the apr 1c in mrad and the ehr 1c in moa we have reticle guards uh, that you can check on our website and, and download at any point if you want to get more information about the reticles and as mentioned the second focal plane scopes you will need to use the reticle at 24 times where it is calibrated or at 12 or 6 with a little bit of math and lastly the helix does have a 50 millimeter objective lens this is pretty standard for a scope of this magnification range and this is a fully multi-coated optical system which means that every single lens inside the scope all 13 of them have five lens coatings the scope does come standard with 
a few uh, extra pieces in the box, such as the removable throw lever, a sunshade, some flip-up caps, Allen keys, and stuff like that. So you can check out the unboxing video we did of the Element Helix to see what comes in the box. And that is the Helix. It's a scope that punches well above its weight. It may not be the clearest scope in the world or the most interesting, but what it does, it does incredibly well. And I would say it gives you more than you'd ever need out of a $400 scope. And of course, if you ever have a problem with it, our Platinum Lifetime Warranty has you covered.